To your morning headlines now, the Knox County Health Department is reporting two COVID-19 related deaths. November continues to be the month with the highest reported number of deaths since the pandemic began, with 43 deaths since the first. The county also reported 90 people currently hospitalized because of the virus. That's the second highest day of hospitalizations. At the peak, 91 people were in the hospital. Across Tennessee, the state saw its highest day of hospitalizations. In East Tennessee, Cock County is reporting two new deaths. The Tennessee Department of Health also says Cumberland, Granger, Jefferson, Roan and Sevier counties are each reporting one new death and Blunt County is reporting 117 new cases. According to Health Director Martha Buchanan, those are the worst numbers and deaths the county has seen since the start of the pandemic. Now because of this, the Knox County Board of Health called an emergency meeting addressing the situation before the holidays and what can be done. More regulations were proposed that would limit restaurant capacity to 25%, change the alcohol curfew from 11 p.m. to 9 p.m., and limit social gatherings to 8 or 10 people. Buchanan reminded the board to keep people's mental health in mind as they make decisions. The pure public health approach is just to lock things down. But we know we can't do that forever, and we know that that has detrimental effects on our economy, on people's mental health. On the board plans to call an emergency meeting tonight to vote on proposed regulations. They were originally scheduled to meet Wednesday. If passed, it could change a lot of people's Thanksgiving plans. Meantime, across the state, more county mayors are implementing mask mandates. Claiborne and Granger counties announced they will now require masks in most public places. Similar ordinances are already in place in Knox, Hamblin and Sevier counties. The Claiborne County mayor says the decision came after hearing from hundreds of people. I am going to do the best that I can to ensure the safety and well-being of Claiborne County, which is why it's only temporary, but we're not going to know until we try. The Claiborne County mask mandate runs through the end of the year. Mayor Brooks says the county will then look at the data and reevaluate.